The University of Arizona says its plan to get back on solid financial footing is working. Reporting the projected budget shortfall is now down by more than $100 million over a six-month time frame. News for Tucson's Eric Fink is live on campus with more on the U of A's financial woes. And are they getting better, Eric? Well, according to the university, they are getting better, Sean. The university now is still tens of millions of dollars in the red here. But the university is no longer staring at that $177 million shortfall that it had back in January. So as this new fall semester begins here on campus, the university's chief financial officer, John Arnold, says the shortfall at the end of June, that was the end of this past fiscal year, is down $114 million to $63 million. The university says it has worked hard to make sure academics did not take a severe hit. Faculty Senate Chair Layla Hudson says there's no doubt the university is going in the right direction. But she says there are still concerns about faculty and staff workload. Now, at the end of January, colleges within the U of A were asked to project a budget for the current fiscal year with 5, 10, and 15 percent cuts. But the university says today most of those colleges saw a cut of less than that 5 percent mark. The highest percentage reductions came on the administrative side. Really, the priority from day one was to protect our workforce, our tremendous faculty, staff, and, and student leaders who are working on campus, because again, that is the backbone of the university. Even as we have gained the largest and most diverse incoming student class ever, so enrollments are up and our workforce is down, the real question then becomes, how are our remaining workforce colleagues handling the workload? And there are a lot, a lot of concerns about that uh, that I think are not part of the budget process per se. And this news comes on the heels of the university's new leader soon arriving here to campus. The university's next president, Suresh Garamella, begins his tenure here in Tucson on October 1st. We're live this afternoon here at the U of A. I'm Eric Fink, News 4, Tucson. Sean, back to you. All right, thank you, Eric.